So, YouTube, I have my new phone, I uh, made just a, not an important video, but just a um, shitting off video because I got my new phone. Um, I was having issues with downloading the app that I used to up uh, edit my videos, but there's an issue and my videos are lagging and I cannot figure out how to fine tune the video to the audio. It's in slow motion and it's very difficult. So please bear with me. This is going to be an uncut, unedited just video. Um, I did feel like it was something that I could possibly bring up because excuse me I'm drinking coffee and having my breakfast so um I might have a little burpy burps anyway I don't want to make this like a ramble video and I want to be straight on point because I don't have a way to edit this video at all so you will see everything anyway so this is what the deal is um, I reached my six months on T on the 14th of April, which was also my shot day. I posted that video up. Um, it, it has been a month since my dose has been lowered. And I have to say that there's a tremendous difference in my mood. Completely 360. Um, there are some things that will always be an issue if you've had depression problems before T, if it's non-T related, like non-gender related, that's not going to go away because of T. It's a chemical imbalance in your head. Um, the gender identity issue can be cleared up with, to a certain point, with hormone therapy. Not 100%. Um, you're always going to have that little dysphoria here and there, here and there that's like, ah, uh, unless, you know, I don't know, you've had full top bottom surgery, fully functional, fully transitioned, you live your life just like every other average male, then maybe you don't have dysphoria. Everybody's different. Some people don't get dysphoric at all. Some people are horribly dysphoric that they just chop themselves into bits, which... I mean, I used to self-harm, but not for that reason. I had a different reason for doing this. But the, the reason why I wanted to make the video was because of the changes. Um, the changes are very, very different. It's a complete 360 in a good way. On top of that, also, I'm getting that scratchy, tingly, make me want to cough feeling in my throat again. And, um... Also, uh, it's been almost a week since my time of the month was supposed to be here, and it is not yet. It was supposed to be here Wednesday, and it is now Monday. So that's a good sign that it is finally stopped, and I'm happy about that. But the biggest thing is that I wanted to say about uh, what I wanted to talk about in the video was that... Um, now I'm noticing I think my tea levels are finally evening itself, evening itself out. The reason why my time of the month has stopped, it could be, um, now, uh, like, different things like my facial hair and my voice, and I'm noticing a lot of physical changes more, and they're happening very rapidly because my transition was on halt after about three, four months because of my T levels being so high. So, yeah. Um, it is causing me a little bit of anxiety to see my transition happen now so slow and then pick up and now it's very rapid. And I've seen other people um, who are over a year, seven years, almost 10 years, on T, they said, you know, in, in the beginning of their time of transitioning, that they had issues seeing themselves transition at such a fast pace and had to actually come off of um, taking T um, temporarily for a break. I don't plan on doing this. I am going to ride it out until the end. Um, but 
I just wanted to bring it to your attention if you were starting tea or, or already on tea and you're feeling this weird feeling that I don't know how to explain it. I don't feel like I made the wrong decision. I know I made the right decision. I'm 100% sure on this. But to see, because I have anxiety and I'm not good with change, to see my body changing against my own control is what's giving me that loss of, that feeling of loss of control, which is giving me anxiety. Once it stops, I mean, I will be adjusted to the changes and it won't be a problem anymore, but it is something that I did want to bring up to you guys. Because I don't want anybody to be scared. I mean, even in the beginning before transitioning, complete, like before starting tea, I went through a good uh, couple week phase of crying and worrying that what if I made the wrong decision and I start tea and I regret it and I can't go back once I do that first injection, tea's in my system and there are some side effects that are irreversible. So I had anxiety and I had almost like cold feet. My fiance called it cold nuts. But that's pretty much what happened to me. And, you know, in my mind, I know I made the right decision. But I don't want you or anybody else based on how you're feeling because it's a very conflicting self. It's a very conflicting, like, in your head type of situation. No one but you can tell you whether you're making the right decision or not. You just have to trust in your natural first instinct, not what you're feeling right before. Because just like a top surgery, you can have nerves the night before, but that doesn't mean that you're not supposed to have top surgery. It means you're scared about the operation. So, don't doubt yourself. Um, so that is, and this also is a video to let you know as well that um, if you continue to see these uncut videos, that it is because I am sorry. I have a highway that's in my back window, my bedroom window, so I can hear trucks like 18 whalers drive by. But um, so if you see this. Obviously, it's because I'm still having issues with my editing software. Um, as soon as that is um, taken care of, you guys will know about it. Um, don't forget, I made a brand new page on Facebook just for you guys because I wanted to keep my personal profile on Facebook separate from my followers. Um, I am living, excuse me for the phone, I am living as stealth. So that's why I decided to make my own separate page because I would love to be able to um, give knowledge to my family and friends that are curious and want to know more about transitioning because they don't, they don't come across it every day. I am one of the firsts in my family as, as far as I know right now that has attempted um, some type of um, you know, hormone therapy or sex change, which was old term used back in the day when I was younger, was people changed their sex or they got a sex change. That's what I heard. That's why I didn't know about transgender until I was about 18 and knew that, oh, that's what I am. Because I knew that there was something different. I just didn't know what it was called. So, um... I just wanted to make the video to let you guys know, you know, that I'm not going to be able to uh, edit my videos. So if it's a rambly video and it's going on nine minutes now, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to go finish watching Charmed and then maybe practice uh, basketball, uh, basketball, the drums a little bit after I finish cleaning my room and clean the ferret cage and do all my chores for the day. So I just wanted to let you guys know, follow me, like my page on Facebook. It's in the links to all of my social medias are in the description. Um, so go have fun.